This video is part of the Herb Embroidery Stitch Along series by Crazy Crafts. Other video tutorials are available in the series. Thanks for watching and happy stitching! I'm going to show you how to make a waist knot. It is a knot you will cut away from your embroidery, leaving no knots on the back of your work. A waist knot is good when you're doing something that there is the possibility that somebody will see your backside such as on a handkerchief or a tablecloth, or napkins, things like that. So you have your embroidery floss. I've made the little knot on the end, you see right there. Now a lot of times I'll just come up from the back of my work and pull through, like everybody does. I'm going to show you the waist knot on the stem for the lavender. What you do is go in from the front, a little ways away from where you're going to be stitching. You pull the thread through, leaving your knot on the front of your work. Then you make two tiny stitches along the line of where you will be stitching, so you could cover them up. So I come up, and I go down just the tiniest stitch. These are anchoring stitches. They're going to keep the thread in place. Another anchoring stitch right next to it. Another stitch comes up right next to the first one, again along the line of where you're going to be stitching. If you look closely, you'll see two tiny stitches there. Now what you'll do is start stitching, which I'll do in the next video. I'm going to do a stem stitch right here. But first, I'm going to show you. Once you've made a number of stitches and you cover up those two anchoring stitches, then everything's secure on the back. So then you could just cut away that knot. I'm going to pretend I did all the stitches already and I cut away that knot. That way there is no knot on the back and the front of the knot has disappeared. It's called a waist knot and it magically disappears.